customer service training tip, be positive, coming up. Hi, I'm JB with Marketing 360, and we help small businesses grow with our marketing and design talent and technology through our number one marketing platform, Marketing 360. We call marketing and design mad, and we love mad. And hopefully these videos will help you fall in love with mad too. So make sure to follow us to learn tips, tricks, and strategies to grow your business and fuel your brand. So being positive, it's so huge with customer service and customer experience. Uh, but how do you do that? And I think it really starts with the leadership. And so a good example that I have for this is a story. I actually had the kids with me one day and I went home and the door was locked. I didn't have my key, so I was locked out. So I called my wife and she was still like an hour away. And it was around dinner time, so I thought, I'm gonna take the kids to go eat somewhere that we like. So we went to this spot downtown that we like and it was packed beyond belief. And so I said, oh, I'm not gonna wait here. So we went over to a, a local, popular, very popular chicken franchise. I'm not gonna name names. But we went in there and I walked in and immediately the vibe was negativity. There was a lot of people waiting in line. There was people sitting all over the restaurant waiting. Nobody really had their food. Everybody looked angry. And what I quickly identified was the manager was very negative. The manager wasn't really listening to anybody. He was taking the orders, but he was making people repeat himself because he, he just wasn't really listening. So he would constantly re-ask them what they wanted to order and those sorts of things, which was frustrating people. But you could also see he was negative with his inter internal team, the other folks working. He just wasn't a good manager. He wasn't a positive person. And so even the lady in the drive-through was yelling through the window at the person at the, at the drive-through window. So it was crazy. So anyways, there's an old guy sitting there getting increasingly frustrated and I could see it building. And so what happened was, is he was waiting before I even ordered. I ordered and I ended up getting my food first and I could see it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. This guy stood up and he just screamed at the top of his lungs, where is my pot pie? I mean, he was lit up. This place was a dumpster fire. And the whole reason was is because the leadership wasn't being positive. And the crazy thing is, is this brand spending millions and millions of dollars marketing, but they burned every dollar that day at that location. It was complete waste because none of those people would ever come back. And so the key is it starts with leadership. If the leader is positive in creating a positive work environment, then the team is gonna be positive and the customers are gonna be positive. It's gonna be an experience that creates this culture to where not only do the customers wanna come back again and again, but so does the team. When you have a negative environment, the customers don't wanna come back, but neither does your team. So you have a very high turnover. And when you have a high turnover, you don't have people that understand your product and your service so that they can provide great service and great customer experience. And so this is why positivity is a key power tip to providing good customer service. Hopefully this video was helpful. You can share this story with your friends. If you have other good stories like this, please put it in the comments. We'd love to hear those things. Other than that, thanks for watching. Happy marketing.